Hey, what's going on, guys? The story is problem right here. The question is asking sketch the region enclosed by curves y square is equal to 2x plus 6 and y is equal to x minus 1 and find the area, right? And let's see how we can do this. So let's write the functions right here y square is equal to 2x plus 6 and y is equal to x minus 1, right? Now we can do this one in two ways. First, we can do it in terms of x or we can do it in terms of y. So we have to know which one is easy to draw the graph. If you look at this one, if I arrange everything in terms of x, it looks like we can solve it easily, right? But I'm not sure why it will work too. So you can try both methods. I'm going to take x as, uh, I'm going to write everything in terms of y. So here I can rearrange this one as x is equal to y square minus 6 divided by 2, right? So this is same as 0 0.5 y square minus 3, right? So let's uh, rearrange this one in terms of x. I mean, in terms of x, in terms of y, the word is confusing. I'm just writing x is equal to everything. So here, x is equal to y plus 1, right? So we have these two functions right here. Let's see how we can draw the graph. So here, if you look at this one, this is y square minus 3. And we know that when we had y is equal to x square, we just draw a parabola opening up, right? If you notice that parabola going through the positive y direction. Here, same approach. The parabola open toward positive x direction. So it's opening to the left. So that's what's going to happen. And here, if it's minus 3, we just pull it down. Here, if it's minus 3, we just pull it to the left. So here, it's going to start from this minus 3 right here. And it's going to go through this. So this is the, how the graph is going to look like. And then, y plus 1. y plus 1, so when we had uh, y x, for example, y is equal to x plus 1 or something like that, we know that it's one unit to the one unit up here and then it goes through here I'm talking about this one so y is equal to x plus 1 so it's one unit up and it goes through so when y is equal to 0 x is minus 1 so it goes through this one and goes through positive x direction right so it was like this so here same approach it goes through positive y direction and if it's plus 1 it is right here plus 1 to the right so that's how the graph is going to look like. Now the area we are interested in is this region bounded by these two curves. So this is the region we are trying to find. Now let's see. So whenever we had in terms of y, that we put a top function minus bottom function to calculate the area, right? Here it's different. If it's in terms of x, we have to put right minus left. So that's how the equation is going to be. And then here, this equation is y is equal to x minus 1. No, x is equal to y plus 1. So this is x is equal to y plus 1. And this function is x is equal to 0 0.5 y square minus 3. And when we draw in terms of y, we know these are going to be our limits of integration, these two area. But when we draw in terms of x, these two region this in terms of y's right so we have to find the y value that connects each of this line so that's how we, we are going to do to do that what we have to do here everything is in terms of y so we just equate these two equation and find the values so here if you equate this one 0 0.5 y square minus 3 is equal to y plus 1 and then See, let's simplify this one. Let's bring this y to the this side. So this is going to be just 0 0.5 y square minus y minus 4, right? That's equal to 0. And then to make this one like uh, more less complicated, we can multiply this one by 2. So this one will be y square minus 2y minus 8 is equal to 0. Now we have to get a number. When we multiply, we have to get negative 8. 
when we add we have to get negative 2 and if you think about it negative 4 and plus 2 will work so let's go ahead and write it y square minus 4y plus 2 minus plus 2y minus 8 is equal to 0 so here what I can do I can take the y common denominator y common so this is going to be y minus 4 and then I can take plus 2 common so that's going to be y minus 4 again now we can go ahead and write y minus 4 and then y plus 2 right so here we are going to have 4 and this is going to be minus 2 so the limits for integration is going to be minus 2 to 4 so area is going to be equal to minus 2 to 4 and then right function that is y plus 1 minus left function that is 0 0.5 y square minus 3 right now dy and let's simplify this one so this is going to if you simplify this one this is going to be minus 2 to 4 if I subtract this is going to be y minus 0 0.5 y square 1 plus 3 right minus minus 3 that's going to be plus 3 so that's going to be 4 so this is what we have and this is 0 0.5 let's arrange this one in power order so this is dy or oh, without arranging it's okay because it doesn't matter anyway so let's integrate this one this is going to be y square divided by 2 minus 0 0.5 y cube divided by 3 plus 4y right this is the one we have now let's erase this part right here okay let's continue this let continue here so here we have y square divided by 2 and this is going from negative 2 to 4 if I plug 4 this is going to be just 4 square divided by 2 minus 0 0.5 y cube that's going to be 4 cube divided by 3 plus 4 times 4 right so this is what we have in this side in the other side we are going to have minus 2 square divided by 2 minus 0 0.5 negative 2 cube divided by 3 plus 4 times negative 2 so this is what we have and let's simplify this one this is going to be 16 divided by 2 that's going to be 8 minus 4 cube is going to be the same as 2 power 6 that's 64 64 times 0 0.5 that's going to be 32 right 32 divided by 3 and then we have 4 times 4 that's going to be 16 here let's see the other side other side we have negative 2 square that's going to be 4 divided by 2 we can just write 2 and then negative 0, 0 0.5 negative negative 2 cube is going to be negative 8 right so negative 8 times 0 0.5 that's going to be negative 4 and then we have 3 in the denominator negative 2 times 4 is going to be negative 8 so we can just put negative 8 right here and let's simplify so this is going to be 16 we have plus 8 right here so 16 plus 8 24 24 minus 32 divided by 3 and the other side we have 2 and minus 8 that's going to give us minus 6 minus 6 and this is going to become plus 4 over 3 right so this is minus and minus 6 and this is going to become plus 4 divided by 3 because minus minus plus let's take the com maybe I continue this one right here the different color so we have 24 minus 32 so here we can take the 3 as our common denominator so common denominator is 3 common denominator we have to multiply this one by 3 so 24 multiply by 3 3 times 4 12 3 times 2 6 72 so 72 divided by 3 minus 32 divided by 3 minus minus 6 so multiply by 3 minus 18 divided by 3 plus 4 divided by 3 right so here we are going to have 40 divided by 3 minus here we are going to have minus 40 minus 14 divided by 3 
So here minus minus become plus. So 54 divided by 3. That is equal to 18, right? 18 times 2 is 36, 3, 54. So this is 18. So the area of this shaded region is going to be 18. And that's how we do this kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.